Today in Zapekist, I asked AI to design another track for me, and this time I asked AI to specifically design a track that has a focus on jumps and jump-like features, and so I ended up with 10 steps to make a track, and I've built it here. So the first, it says to create a really simple start line with, you know, whatever aesthetic you want, and I decided to put the start line, of course, on top of a mountain. Then it goes into a straight section. After a start line, the track should have a relatively straight section to allow racers to gain momentum. The section should be long enough to build up speed, but not so long that it makes it monotonous, which is, I think, a perfect thing here. Next, we go into the small bump jump. This is the first jump element after the straight section. It can be a small bump or a series of smaller bumps, creating a small elevation change, which is exactly what happens here. You can see we bump, we jump over, and we actually land slightly higher up than we started. And then after that, we go into the S-curve. So we incorporate an S-curve section into the track. This adds a series of elements to test the racer's maneuvering skills. The curve should be wide enough to maintain a good flow, but also tight enough to require careful steering. You can see I use the bank corners for this, which really is awesome. You start with one S, you go into another S. It's just, it's a wicked set of curves. Really big fan of it. After the S curve, we go into the double jump. This consists of two consecutive jumps placed closely together and it allows the racer to catch air twice in quick succession. So you can see we take this one jump, we actually land over this hump into this area and then take that second jump and land over here on this big, big downslope right below us there. After that, we go into the banked curve, which is a banked turn in the track. This turn should have a race raised outer edge to allow racers to maintain speed while making the turn. Hence, we've got a wall ride element here, really, really tight corner, and then it goes into this S bend, which we have to, of course, come out, and you can see the banked corner here. Don't want to fly off that or else we're going into the rock pile. Finally, after the bank curve, we have the mega ramp jump. This is the centerpiece of the track, which you may have noticed before. It is the massive mega ramp jump. It actually flies over the entire track and lands way up there in the mountain. Uh, the mega ramp jump is supposed to be large and thrilling, allowing racers to soar through the air for an exhilarating experience. The ramp leading up to the jump should have a steep incline, providing enough speed to achieve a spectacular leap. There's actually a fan there. You can't really see it, but there's a fan buried in that rock, which lets you to build up to 220 on that jump and you have to full arms up and you fly the entire map and basically barely make this ramp. Finally, after the ramp, we have a tunnel section, which is of course what we've got in here. I kind of went through it, but there you go. We can see we're actually inside all these pipes going through the tunnel section. The tunnel section adds a unique element of suspense and requires racers to adjust their driving skills in confined spaces. You can see we've got some rocks in here. It's, it's actually pretty tough. I like the tunnel section. This S bend kind of throws you for a bit, but it's a good section of the track. Finally, after the tunnel section, we get out into the last element of the track, which is the gap jump. And the gap jump is just a large gap that racers must clear to reach the other side. You know, this is the, the sort of the gap that I came up with. You're jumping off one dock to another. And then finally, you go to the finish, which is just, you know, the finish line says, finally conclude the track with a clear and well-defined finish line, which of course we've got there. And that's pretty much it. And that's the entire track as uh, designed by AI. So really exciting track. I spent way too long on this one. There's like almost 4,000 objects, I think. I really did a whole lot of decoration to make this look like some sort of a cool island. And honestly, I'm a really, really big fan of the line of this track. I think it's super cool. So let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. If you have other ideas for Zapekiss tracks, of course, put them in the comments down below. And let's jump right into a public lobby. Sandals said that they were on a world record pace again, and I feel like they just say that every time I swap lobbies. So you know what? <laughs> also, not, how are you supposed to know? <laughs> I'm not that falling might be for a that anymore. Bit of a meme. But yeah, this was created. It was a 10-step prompt by a um, by a ChatGPT, and I told it the focus for the oh, track so should fast. be jumps, but it should still be like you know a race track. Mm -hmm. And uh, the flow on this track is unbelievably awesome. I really, really like it. And I know you pro guys are going to be wicked fast. The serotonin in my brain's going. That yeah. first corner is so fast. Yeah. But the good news is, uh, Ronan, is that since you're here, I'll be able to really hear the moment when you realize that you're going to add it to your summer track playlist. And, mm. uh, <laughs> you know. That's that's up to the the, the people. The people yeah. vote in. <laughs> but no, I I really like this track. It's uh it's it's really really clean. I spent way too long on it. That's the problem. Bro, I get like forty frames at the beginning, but then it clears up. Actually, yeah. <laughs> yes, I think it's all the trees. I mean, there are like three thousand objects on this track, but I didn't think it would. I think almost four thousand, isn't it? Yeah, I probably. It I, I get full frames on it, so that's why rocks. I didn't like I didn't change it. I could delete some trees, but yeah. Oh my god, no way I hit that freaking pole. 
You There's like the a dock man. at the end, and I landed right square on top of a pole, which just like Smoke killed, pole. killed my time. Hey, first finisher though. Good job. This is way too many trees. It's lagging out my game. Guys, I'm sorry. I built it, and I got 60 FPS, so I was like, it's fine. That left turn after the uh, the wall ride 180 is so it comes out really quick. Yeah, you oh, got to drop off the wall ride early to make sure that you uh, make that left turn. You guys are getting the wall ride. I'm, I don't have enough speed for that. <laughs> I lost a bunch of speed earlier on. I'm just struggle busing now. You make the, the get... good news is you can do that whole wall ride section without speed, and then you'll get. I see you, Cosmo. What's up? I just flew right past What's you. What's up, man? <laughs> um, yeah, make sure you get all the fan. Yeah. That's one tip. Like right in that corner, as Ugh. soon as the fan hits you, then you. I did not follow arms up instructions. Yeah, you got to do the arms up. That's a mega. This is jump. a cool track. I like it. It's very, um, very multifaceted. You know, like very, uh, a lot of, a lot of cool sections on it. I approve. It's a very flowy track. It's a track yeah, that lets I, you go quick. I love the flow in this, yeah. And uh, 1.4 seconds down, no problem. It's good good stuff. <laughs> I'm still the only finisher. Going to get a second time here. There, better fin better landing instead of hitting the stupid pole. So I'll be faster even though I was slower up to this point. Love yeah, it's a, it's took, it took me a while. Uh, took me a, It's currently playing stop mode. You know what? Maybe this is the meta. I just need to build tracks with so many objects. Everyone else's game lags, and then I win. <laughs> that's literally that's literally all I need to do. I didn't even think about it to be honest. But I guess I'll try and keep it under three thousand objects. I don't I don't know. I. I think it's really just the trees to be honest. Like I don't know if it's like if I did three thousand rocks, you think it would be fine? I, I think it's mostly a density issue on this one. Right. It's just a lot close together oh god oh what is that transition in the tubes that's tough i wasn't expecting that oh the tube one yeah there's a few transitions in this map that are a little bit difficult do not recommend at 200 kilometers an hour how are you doing 200 i don't think you can except for the big jump yeah the big jump you're doing like 220 do you hit that s bend absolutely perfect ronan the first one the first one uh, where you hit the corner like right in the middle after the first right hander and then it swoops you down low and it just feels amazing when you get it oh uh, yeah no i love doing that that's and, my favorite kind of track yeah and, yeah i love the like the zigzagging on the curved corners so yeah. good and then you like if you can set up which i'm doing like a horrible setup for it but if you do it just right your tires never leave the ground and you just go so fast through it it's amazing i love oh, those somebody found your invisible wall in the finish good thing you put that there <laughs> yeah it was an anti-cheese wall, because I'm like, someone's going to just dodge the last jump and not land on the docks, and then just be like, you know what, that's fine, I'll just skip the whole thing. And I'm like, man, and then, like, if they get the random RNG oh. bounce, they'll win it, which is just stupid, so. Alright, full speed, big jump. Still the only finisher, dude. But dude, I'm, I'm yeah, okay I... with that, man. I'm a point four up. This track legitimately took me about three hours to make. It was about an hour and no, a half. No, I was more than that. I was in Discord. It was like five hours, bro. Okay, well, it was like an hour and a half just doing the the line, like laying out. You were out building. Both. I was editing, and <laughs> yeah. But I had to lay out the line first, which was like all the the features and stuff, the ramp pieces, and then and then I had to do all the aesthetic work, which apparently I shouldn't have done so much aesthetic work because it just kills people's PCs. So you just got a little tree happy. It's okay, man. We all get a little tree happy sometimes. Want to make it look like a tropical island, you know? You, you did it, bro. You did it. It worked. You succeeded. Yeah. Okay. Arms up. Let's go. Big jump. I hate the cave, but I'm going to conquer it. There's yeah, a rock in the cave that indicates when you should cut down from the mid to, to avoid the... I don't know if you avoid guys know. smashing yourself in the center? Yeah, to avoid smashing yourself. There's a rock that indicates on the right side. Like, there's a rock that you can see. And okay, once you know which okay, rock, okay, then okay. it's... Ooh, okay, okay, okay. I made it. I'm, I'm making it through the cave. Whew. The freaking sideways jump. Are you kidding me? I didn't have enough speed for that. I jumped straight. <laughs> There's a ramp. You can <laughs> see the ramp, bro. You can yeah. literally see it. 
I purposely put that offset because I'm like, you know what? I need to make this ramp visible so that people can tell where to jump. And there, my time got beat finally. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm losing too much speed in the beginning section of this track and I can't seem to figure it out. In validation, I was able to go so much faster. I just need to hold more speed through the caves, I guess. I don't know how to do that yet. Hit the transition well, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> All right, in I theory, the I know what to do, but... <laughs> I hit the zigzag better, which is good. 0.4 up at the first, uh, at the double nice, jump section. Nice. Love that. I'm determined to get finished now. Dude, I love the bank. section. The banked corner sliding is so fun. It's banked corners and safe kiss are the best. They are. See if Ronan so finishes, good. then I'll get the track will end up on his on his playlist. That's the thing. Right. If it doesn't, but with less said, trees. With less it's trees. It's up to the people. <laughs> yeah. I guess I'll have to delete some tree density. I could probably do that and just clear out some trees. And I don't think palm trees grow that dense, do they? Ah. Oh boy. Oh boy. How fast are you guys coming out of that uh, zigzag section? The first one? 130-ish? Okay. That was 128, so I guess I'm kind of like, I'm kind of there. I think it was like 132 when I looked down is what I saw. All right. All right. I'll Whereas actually Ronan, look at my speed. Yeah. I'll look at my speed next time I do it. <laughs> It's, it's, I, like, it's hard to do. I barely could. Catch up the sandals. I'm passing sandals. What's I happening? I just somebody. What's happening? Yeah. Are we in the Matrix? Are we in the Matrix? I always... I'm 1.5 up at the Mega Jump. Holy cow. All right. So don't screw up the tunnel there, Con, and we'll be Dude, perfect. Seriously, yeah. I, I, like, I, I'm on the same page as you. I can't screw up the tunnel. 1.5 up. Turn in there. Okay, I got that. Oh, I screwed up the tunnel. All right. Cool. 1.9 so, up. Just need to do the final gap jump without screwing it up. I really want to finish this. Okay. Okay. I did the final gap jump. Final corner without screwing up. Can I get into first place? No, I can't. Oh. Second place. Dang it. Oh, that was a good run, too. And Man. It's almost got one minute on. Sorry, one second on one you. One second on me almost. Yeah, and 0.9. Holy cow. That was a good run, though, too. I feel like I lost a little bit of time in the cave. I could have done a little smoother. I had some burnout going on, some tire skidding, but. Dang, that was fast. Oh, man. Zolman. Freaking next level. It's uh, Ronin's uh, alter ego, you know, Zolman. Yeah. Zolman be zooming is what we always say. Zolman be zooming. <laughs> uh, the cave transfer every time. I hate it when you're Lagging driving. so hard after checkpoint three. <laughs> this is... <laughs> The car actually loses speed. What? <laughs> is that even possible? I don't think so. Um, I honestly don't you know saying? how Unity would handle like lag with your times, right? Because it's yeah. like, don't know. It would screw up the physics frames, I guess. Like, oh god, really? Somehow didn't make the big jump, even though I was going at it with the same speed. <laughs> you gotta hold hands up the whole time. Yeah, yeah, maybe it's like never. Early it's it's a perfectly calibrated jump to all like to be exactly where you need to be with hands up. Like that's if you let go of hands up even for a little bit, you'll clip the front, which just suck. All right, so I did the tunnel way faster, but my lead up into the tunnel was slower. So I'm like on a yellow time, but if I could have put that together with like a proper lead up, I think I'm literally on my last run here. If I mess up, I won't have time. Yeah, this is going to be slower now because of oh. it. All right, I got one more. Uh, I'm going for completion, boys. I'm going for completion. This is it. This is, it. This is literally the last get run. It, Roman? Ronan, you going to get it? Nope. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I thought you were saying this is it, but... <laughs> yeah, no, yeah, like you had it, you know? It sounded like you were great. Yeah, you sounded like you had, like, you know, hope, but... <laughs> Oh man, I just did the fastest S Bend section I've ever done. What's the split time gonna be? 0.05 oh, up. Let's go. Come on, come on, come on. Not a lot, but we got a chance. All right, what's my split oh, at the bank oh, corner? No, 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 no. 0.167 up. Okay, so we are faster through it. I clipped oh, that I'm wall. I'm not doing That's it, bad. boys. I'm not gonna make it. I don't have the speed for that jump. GG. The gap jump. 
Yeah. It's all just, yeah. Point two eight eight up. Wow, clipping the wall at the wall ride, and and it, I lost point four of a second. Dang. Yeah, I mean I'm gonna finish this run if I cave. can, but like there's no way. Good track though. Be the cave. I did eighty five percent of it. That's good. The cave, eh? It was always the cave. <laughs> I am. Was... Yeah, it was the cave. Yeah, the Could cave was embedded in the walls. Point three up. If I can get a good landing here on the gap jump. Come on. And I clipped the gap jump. Alright, well, that's GG. Dang, man, I was so close. Oh, Zoman is just way too speedy. Well, GG, thanks for playing my track. Hopefully, you know, uh, you guys see it on Ronin's stream when you go check him out in a little bit. Cause, uh, I don't think it's happening, bro. I think you should just I give know, up I, and try I to push have, it. I should have, I I should have the cave. made it easier. I gotta delete the whole cave and then maybe he'd play it. But uh, let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. <laughs> of course, if you have other ideas for Zapekiss tracks, let them let us know in the comments down below. And uh, like, subscribe, and we'll see you all next time. Bye. Bye. Bye.